Hello everybody, my name is Jonas Wendorf and in this video I want to quickly introduce to you my new crunch collection which will clean up skin so we get from this look here that's four to this one here in about 30 seconds up to a minute. Of course I'll be honest with you this method here is very quick but it's also quite dirty so it might look good to begin with but it can bring many unwanted changes and it has not a lot of control so this method is no way high-end it's just a quick and dirty method but as this it really serves its purpose in my opinion to do this I'm first of all going to delete this group here that I've already created and we'll begin right at the start. The first step is to duplicate our background layer, name it for example Grunge Killer, and choose Image Adjustments Invert. Next we are going to go to Image Adjustments and use Brightness Contrast with the Use Legacy setting checked and we're going to enter in a contrast of negative 50. Next we're going to convert this layer here to a smart object. We're going to do this using the flyout menu and choosing convert to smart object. And now we're going to add a new brightness contrast adjustment layer just above and set the contrast to plus 50 and use legacy still checked. This brightness contrast adjustment layer here is just for visualization purposes. We're going to delete it afterwards. Now we're going to our grunge killer layer again and we'll choose filter other high pass and enter in a radius that will show us all the grunge that we want to remove and just the grunge. So you can see, for example, I want to remove this pimple here. I'll see where there's a radius where the pimple is obvious and visual, invisible. And I don't need to go any higher. For this image, a radius of 21 pixels works perfectly. The next step is to go to the filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and now we are going to blur the image a little. And we just want to remove the skin te texture and nothing else. For example, I'll enter in a radius of 3 pixels and just press OK. Now the next step we need to do is enter in the RGB values of 128, 128 and 128 as our foreground color. And we do this because we're going to use select color range now. And within this dialog we have immediately selected the foreground color. And now we can set the fuzziness to see exactly which parts of our image are selected and which are not and we try to select just these dots and not the gray values around it. Choose invert to select just the dots and not just the gray and press OK. Now we can just enter add a layer mask to this layer. With this layer mask we've restricted the changes of this layer to just the areas that are white and the areas that are black are not affected at all. What we're going to do next is delete our brightness conscious adjustment layer. As I've said this was just for our selecting because that makes the selecting far easier. Now we are going to use the blending mode of linear light on this grunge killer layer and as you can see we've removed 
all the grunge from this image. We are not finished yet though, because now a nice step is to refine the mask edge a little. For this we are going to activate our mask, go to the masks panel and click on mask edge. And now we might want to shift the edge a little, for example a shift of plus 30 removes a little more grunge. If you want to remove a little less grunge, you just shift the edge the other way around. Most of the time I shift the edge around plus 30%, but of course you can enter in the values you choose to. Now as a very last step, you have to mask this layer out a little. To do this, just put it into a group. Add once again a pixel mask to this group and use a black brush to paint over the areas that you don't want to affect. For example, her hair, her eyebrows, and some of the borders that you can see here. Once again, painting with black will conceal the changes, painting with white will activate them. And so you can go around your image and just paint in the grunge killer selectively. As a very last step, I want to show you how fast it really works, so I'll just do the whole operation without any instructions, so you can see how fast the action really works. For this I'm just going to run my action. It will automatically give me the high pass, the Gaussian blur. I could of course change the values if I wanted to, but for this time I don't need to because I've already entered in the values I wanted to use for this exactly, for this very image. So as you can see, this is the whole operation. Oops, I forgot to mask this one. And now it's finished. See it up close and personal. This is the before and this is after. Another nice thing of this action is that hadn't we used the color range selection, it would be a lot harder for us to paint in the changes. Because let me just show you that. I'm going to alt click on my layer mask icon to create a black mask. I'm going to shift click on the grunge killer mask to deactivate it. I'm just going to paint in the grunge killer selectively. And as you can see, it's pretty obvious where we painted because the structure of the areas where we painted is a lot tighter than the structure of the areas surrounding it. And so, if we enable the color range selection as well, this makes it far more accurate and far easier to paint in the changes selectively. So I hope you've enjoyed it, learned a thing or two. If you need any help, if you have any questions, Feel free to email me, Jonas underscore Vendorf at web.de, or just Skype me, Jonas W234, and 